Why do Rob and Suki refuse to speak about each other in interviews? How did the forced quarantine impact their relationship? And is that the sound of wedding bells on the horizon? Hi, I'm Joy. Let's dive right in. The Heartache of Lovers Past after Twilight, Robert Pattinson became a heartthrob to millions of teenagers across the world. Arpatz wasn't short of any suitors, however, his most famous relationship was with Bella Swan herself, Kristen Stewart. From mid-2009, the two were one of the hottest couples in the world. Fans were bewitched and over the moon seeing how the lovers on screen became a real-life item. The paparazzi and fans followed their every move, even wondering if they were about to tie the knot like Edward and Bella did in Twilight. Things looked peachy until about mid-2012, when Kristen was photographed kissing director Rupert Sanders, who was married at the time. Ouch. We're pretty sure Rob didn't appreciate seeing those pics on every magazine cover. Kristen issued a public apology for the affair, but her relationship with Rob was well and truly over. They reconciled for a short time afterwards, but things just didn't work out. Since then, Rob became extremely private and reserved about his personal relationships, choosing to keep his love life out of the public sphere. You can't really blame him, can you? For model-turned-actress Suki Waterhouse, she also had her fair share of high-profile relationships. From 2011 to 2013, she dated Miles Kane, the lead singer of the indie group Last Shadow Puppets. Miles described Suki as the love of his life and even claims his 2013 album Don't Forget Who You Are was inspired by her. Aww. Unfortunately, their relationship fizzled out and she moved on to actor Bradley Cooper, attending red carpet events and jetting around the world with him. The 17-year age gap might have become a problem, though, because the pair also parted after two years together. No other relationship really stuck for Suki after that, as she focused more on her career rather than becoming another tabloid headline. That is, until she met Rob in 2018. How did they meet? Being around the celebrity scene, Rob and Suki have known each other for several years, even sharing a few mutual friends. But it was in 2018 when they were first spotted cozying up together. The two enjoyed a showing of Mamma Mia! Here We Go Again in Notting Hill before walking across the street for celebratory drinks at Soho House. It must have been a really good date because they also shared a passionate kiss in the streets of London. Naturally, this got tongues wagging, as fans wondered if Rob and Suki were now officially an item. A source confirmed to People magazine that it was true, saying they are very loved up. They haven't been together that long, but everything seems on the fast track. They are always laughing and smiling at each other. Since then, they've been seen in public numerous times. Suki even attended Rob's birthday party and the pair shower each other with a whole lot of PDA when together. And they seem to share a mutual love for coffee, too, since you normally spot them with a fresh cup in hand. That being said, the exact date when they started dating still remains a mystery. Most fans presume it was in the summer of 2018, but it could have been even earlier than that. Maybe it's because they've always looked so comfortable together, like they've been together since the dawn of time. I guess some hearts were just meant for each other. Casual or something more? In Hollywood, it's hard to know if something is serious or merely casual. I mean, how many times have we seen celebs hanging out together only to find them in the arms of someone else in a heartbeat? When it comes to Rob and Suki, the extent of their relationship is a bit of a mystery due to several factors. In an interview with Grazia, Suki said she enjoys the nomadic lifestyle of being an actor. She said, I like the escape of that, and I like being away for long periods of time. It's a really good job for someone who doesn't need stability whatsoever. Does this extend to her relationship with Rob? Could it be that they're far more casual than what we expected? Suki has also been seen holidaying with her friends over the years, with Rob nowhere in sight. That being said, he could have been busy with a film, so that could explain his absence from all the sun and fun. On the flip side, the two have also been photographed spending a lot of time together, so it isn't like there are huge gaps between when they see each other. Perhaps Rob and Suki have an understanding of how important and busy their respective careers are, and they work around their schedules. Considering they've been seeing each other for over two years now, it's more than likely that things are extremely serious. Would they be really wasting each other's time if it wasn't? The Desire for Privacy being in the spotlight all the time can make you crave a little bit of normalcy once in a while. In the case of Rob and Suki, they've been in the headlines more times than they can count, so it's only natural that they're tired of all the trailing paparazzi, signing autographs, and answering personal questions every time they step out in public. As a result, they've adopted the motto of kiss and don't tell, being extremely private about their relationship. 
While it's common knowledge that they're dating and happily involved, they don't speak about each other in interviews. Rob explained his reasoning to The Times. He said, If you let people in, it devalues what love is. If a stranger on the street asked you about your relationship, you'd think it extremely rude. If you put up a wall, it ends up better. More importantly, Rob pointed out the double standards that exist, such as it's okay for regular people to hold hands in the street, but once he does it, it becomes a photo opportunity. He believes it never allows him to stop being a performer, which ultimately takes away from the genuineness of love. It's a philosophical way of looking at it, but it makes total sense. The two of them have been burnt in the past by having their relationships in the public eye. People scrutinized every detail, judging and passing remarks about everything they did or didn't do. Now they just want to be themselves without any pressure from outsiders looking in. Their careers won't allow them to run away from the limelight for too long, but at least they're trying to keep their personal lives, well, personal. But will Rob succeed in doing this, especially with all the additional pressure and attention that comes with playing Batman? Moving in together? Since neither Rob nor Suki want to talk about each other to the press, there's a lot of speculation about what's happening in their world. People have seen them together in London and New York, but no one knows if they're living together or still using overnight bags when they visit each other. Or maybe they just leave behind a toothbrush and a clean pair of underwear at the other's apartment. Whichever way, 2020 threw a huge curveball in their direction, forcing them to spend a lot more time together than they might have initially expected. After the Batman production was paused due to the COVID-19 outbreak, Rob and Suki spent the lockdown quarantined together in a London apartment. The two were spotted going grocery shopping and trying to live some semblance of a normal life in strange times. Though in an interview with GQ, Rob did reveal his… <clears throat> interesting choice of ingredients for preparing a pasta dish. Let's just say that we hope that Suki's the one doing the cooking on most days, for both their sakes. Glued to the hip, they've spent an awful lot of time together over the past few months, and they don't look tired of each other's company at all. In fact, they still look as loved up as the first time we saw them out in public in 2018. The true test, though, will be what happens after Rob finishes shooting the Batman and heads back home to Los Angeles. Will Suki follow him? Maybe they might actually enjoy some time apart, and move Moving in permanently isn't on the cards just yet. Absence does make the heart grow fonder, right? Ding ding! Are those wedding bells? All our Pat's stands will know that he was engaged to FKA Twigs once upon a time. While that relationship didn't last, it's good to see that he didn't give up on love. In fact, he might have popped the question again if rumors are to be believed. According to the Daily Mail, Suki sported a little bling on her left ring finger at a Dior dinner party earlier this year. Of course, neither of them have commented on the engagement rumors, but it wouldn't be too surprising if it's true. The two of them have been together for a couple of years, so it's only natural that they'd take their relationship to the next step. One thing's for certain, though. Rob will likely end up with a celeb wife. And he has admitted as much. Chatting to Howard Stern, he revealed that it's difficult to date someone who's outside of the celebrity circle. He mentioned how there are power imbalances and the world of celebrity can intimidate those who aren't a part of it. Maybe that's why he and Suki get along so well. Both have experienced high-profile relationships and achieved a level of stardom that most people can only wish for. They understand what the other experiences on a daily basis, allowing them to empathize and understand each other like no one else can. Whether they'll ever walk down the aisle, though? Well, that's a different story. Hollywood relationships almost never last. With so many eyes on you, the weight of expectation seemingly seeps into every facet of your life, making it difficult to live a normal life. Maybe they'll be the exception to the rule here, but the odds aren't exactly in their favor. There's no doubt that everyone is rooting for Rob and Suki's relationship, though. The two make quite the pair and seem to be truly and madly in love with each other. So hopefully this is one relationship that stands the test of time. But what do you think? Are they just two free spirits doomed to walk the earth alone? Or could this be the first step in a very long love story? Thanks for watching and let us know what you think in the comments section below. And while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe.